Good morning. My name is Ken Follett. It is uh, August 14th, 2010, and this morning we're going to do a demonstration, a scientific demonstration of a repointing and composite patch mortar that you might not want to use. Our secret ingredient is grape nuts. We have some pre-measured quantities of lime and uh, gray Portland cement, one to one, and we're going to mix them with our uh, uh, materials. We have some control materials. We're going to mix with sand, yellow sand. This can be found on Long Island, where we're at this morning. And this is a uh, one part uh, Portland to one part lime to six parts of sand, which essentially is a type N mortar that we're going to be making. And we're going to use this container for our mixing. And then we're going to put them, our little mixtures, we have several different ones that we're going to do. We're going to put a little mixtures in these uh, containers <coughs> and we're going to let them cure. Uh, we'll check them at seven days, 14 days, and uh, we'll come back to this topic in a month and maybe we'll leave it out to weather and see how it goes for six months. We might even do a year or two years or 20. Anyways, uh, I should say that uh, you should not do this at home, not because it's unsafe, but uh, it's not particularly bright. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, we dump in some sand, we dump in our Portland and lime mixture, make sure it all gets in there. These have been measured out by volume, not by weight, and then basically mix the whole thing up. As you can see, we mix the whole thing up, make sure it's really well mixed dry before we add any water to it. Yep, this is the sand mixture. So, I like to have the little chunks of lime in there. It makes it look more historic when you use it as a uh, repointing mortar. After you've mixed it, I'm sure as you all know, you take and you add water. Not a whole lot of it, just enough. We don't want a super wet mix. Bad. Yeah. We'll give you a close up. Yeah, that should fit in the little cake form just fine, I think. Don't you? Yes. Ah. So we make a little patty in our cake form. Out, 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 I said. Get out. So this is the control mixture. This is how you usually do it. Well, I mean, at least the recipe. Pat it down there so we end up with a nice little uh, solid cake. How's that? You like that? Okay. Now, oh, by the way, this is limestone. Limestone. It's not concrete. So we bring in our secret ingredient. Grape nuts. Rinse out our butt trough. Okay, now we take it. Pour in the grape nuts and our 1 1 mix, Portland sand, our Portland lime. You notice I didn't put any sand in here. We're doing this totally as a grape nuts mixture. Ooh, we'll beat them up. Gotta make sure that that cementitious material gets totally coated around the particles of the grape nuts. If we're going to have this work, then we need to make sure that we have the grape nuts well coated. 
Now, they say that uh, when you're mixing a mortar, the more coarse the aggregate, the stronger the mortar. And I'll show you this aggregate. Now, that's what I would call coarse aggregate. It's not exactly the size of mason sand, but it is grape nuts. Mainly we're doing this just to prove that there is a viable use for grape nuts. We understand that they have a lot of fiber in them. So once again we add water. Oh, get our little cake pan ready. Add some water. Oh, boy that soaks up really quick. Mm-hmm, okay. I'm thinking maybe I should have done this with a little bit of sand in it. I think what we'll do is we'll make one mixture with the sand and grape nuts together. This is, needs a little bit. I think the grape nuts are soaking up that water really good. Yeah, I don't know whether you should use pre-wetted grape nuts or not. These are, these were uh, we started out dry. It looks like kind of a, like reminds me of something. Okay, so we have that mixture well mixed, and we will take it and put it in our little pan. Notice that, putting it in our little pan. Yeah. Tap it out. I think this needs a little bit of compression. Grape nuts doesn't seem to have the workability of sand. Quite. So there we go. We got settled down in there. Uh, grape nuts. Okay.